and then it hit. And you took it to the edge. Didn't give up. No, it's unpredictable. Tonight. It's gonna be nice, gonna be sunny, it's gonna be windy. You never know what's going on out here, so. Oh my oh, god! Oh my god! It looks to me as if I see some rotation in that far. Oh, oh yeah. But I think we do have at least a brief tornado. Very worthwhile time spent watching the Weather Channel over the past couple of days. Incredible images of storms from flooding to wind damage to hail damage to lightning strikes. We've had it all. That video is invaluable. When you see that in concert with our coverage here, there's nothing better than that. Yeah. Um, Just to have, get people ready for what's happening yes. again today, uh, because we've got more storms on the way, maybe even more of them today mm -hmm. than we saw tomorrow, and certainly more in coverage. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we have, you know, overall some widespread sort of shower and thunderstorm activity all across the eastern half of the country. Now, for example, you know, Sam and Anna Ritas, if you look at this, we have West Virginia and Virginia in play. None of this is severe. Some lightning strikes and some brief heavy rains, but that's it. But I think the bigger threat for severe weather today... Wow, look at Milwaukee right now in play this morning. Uh, a lot of lightning just moved through there from Waukegan to Milwaukee. It's been in the upper 30s all morning. And you might yeah. think, how does that go together? How are we getting lightning <laughs> in the upper 30s? That's how strong this system is that's coming in. It's going to eventually warm up there. And the risk for severe weather in this part of the country will go way up later on this afternoon and evening. And this right. is causing major delays at the airports. If I could just yeah. give you a quick sure. update. O'Hare running at about two-hour delays. Philadelphia. 40 minute delays, midway 30 minute delays, all of this because of the thunderstorms and the low ceilings. And we had ground stops earlier this morning. All right, well, Terre Haute, you're not in severe territory, but you don't have to be to get damaged. The amount of lightning strikes we just saw over there. So make sure that you are in a good position to wait out that storm uh, because there's a lot of it over you right now. It's been a very stormy morning in Metro St. Louis. Uh, let's get into what's going on today. The rest of the day, a little sunshine could mean some bad news with storms firing up again today. Jennifer Delgado leads our coverage there. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Sam. Yeah, you're right. We are really concerned about that because it looks like we could see some sunshine trying to break in, the clouds breaking up. But right now, we are looking actually at a little quiet period. The winds are still gusting here, but as we go throughout the afternoon, we're looking at those storms developing once again. But we want to show you what's happening on the, the east side of the river. That's what we call it here into Illinois for Edwardsville, Collinsville, right along 55. We're going to be looking at storms continuing to make their way through. So maybe if you're driving into work right now, heads up for you. But if you're going to be coming home later on, this afternoon, this evening, we're looking at another round of storms coming through. These could be bringing in addition to uh, the tornado for one to three inches of rainfall, as well as that hail and the strong winds. We look at the radar and then we go and look at some of the tower, the Torcons for today. We're going to be looking at those right around four. And as we can show you, we have several cities under the threat. We're looking at Louisville as well as into St. Louis and as well as other parts of Kentucky and Tennessee and Memphis. So you see your timing there. That's when we're going to be breaking it down. But you know, Sam, really, everybody's really talking about uh, the hail that's been coming down. And I know Reynolds, my brother up in Chicago right now, you are tracking those storms as well. And you're going to be breaking down what folks in Chicago are going to be looking at. Absolutely. You know, we've had a really just a a very odd scenario this morning. We start off actually with some fog, and, and I'll tell you, the fog with temperatures that were in the in the 40s, uh, got rid of the fog, rain began to come in. You hear the reverberation right now. You just sense that the... Uh-oh. All right, just 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 lost a little Reynolds shot right there as he's in the middle of describing it. But I do let me zoom in to some of these uh, radar echoes that are going on right now because it's north of Chicago land. And Ryan, go ahead and zoom in even closer. Let's run this thing up all the way up the uh, all the way up the lake shore. So we'll start uh, in Chicago where most of the action right now is north of the city, uh, and then run that all the way a little bit north here and throw those lightning strikes on because we've got some very active lightning. And notice as it kind of moves offshore and hits the lakes, it's still carrying on. So it's going to be on the other 
other side of the lake as well. If you back up a little bit off to the west of that, you can see it moving through Vernon, Vernon Hills, all the way through Waukegan. That's a pretty active line of thunderstorms this morning that will have the lightning strikes with it as well. Remember, you don't have to have severe storms to have damage from this. We've had an awful lot of lightning strikes and lightning damage, and we've had a lot of delays in the Chicago land area. So if you're flying in or out of Chicago this morning and you're thinking about, hey, will my flight go on time? The answer is likely no today. Uh, we've already had some delays. And Aris, let's get caught up on the headlines this morning. Good morning, Sam. Good morning to you at home. We begin our headlines with what's being billed as a major speech on Iraq. Vice President Joe Biden speaking at the National Defense University in Washington. The VP expected to discuss the ongoing battle against the Islamic State terrorist group, also known as ISS. Check your fridge. Sabra recalling 30,000 cases of classic hummus. A random sample from a grocery store in Michigan turned up listeria. You can get particulars on the recall at FDA.gov. Good to know. I eat that all the time. I do too. Bob Schieffer retiring this summer after 46 years. Schieffer. Bob Schieffer. Yeah. Bob Schieffer uh, retiring after 46 years at CBS. He's hosted Face the Nation since 1991. Schieffer, a Cub reporter on November 22nd, 1963, when Lee Harvey Oswald's mother called his newsroom. She needed a ride to the Dallas Police Department and Schieffer complied. And that's a shame, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's the most trustworthy name in news. And a frightening flight for passengers on Iceland air jet yesterday. Soon after taking off from Iceland, a lightning strike blew a hole in the nose of the plane. But get this, the flight continued all the way to Denver, a journey that's more than 3,500 miles. And when we saw this video this morning in these images, it sparked a conversation, as a lot of these things do yeah, here sure. at the Weather Channel. So we got an aviation expert on the line, Phil Derner from NYCAviation.com. Good morning to you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Tell us, what was your initial reaction when you first saw this picture? What did you think? Good morning. Well, uh, when I first saw it, I, I definitely let out an audible whoa, because uh, uh, actual damage from lightning strikes is really not that common. Uh, aircraft are made to be able to withstand lightning strikes. Uh, damage is, is very, very rare. And uh, usually what happens, I mean, a lot of people are surprised that the aircraft continued on. Uh, since planes are built to be able to withstand them, if there's no indication of damage, no error messages in the cockpit. There's really no cause for alarm or no reason for the pilot to uh, be able to turn back or need to turn back or uh, divert the flight. Um, I, w I was a little surprised that you know maybe they didn't hear air rushing into the nose cone. Yeah. Uh, hey, but Phil, it's Sam. I was thinking exactly the same I thing. How could they? Hi, how are you? Uh, I was thinking how and why would they continue the flight? Because I'm thinking that they're hearing or feeling uh, that air kind of like rushing through there. Although that nose cone uh, has a wall behind it b b between where they are. Yeah, yeah. The, the nose cone itself. You know, most of the aircraft, especially a seven five seven, is aluminum. The nose cone is is, is fiberglass and composite, uh, and that's also why we don't see burn marks there because ah. lightning can want to make fiberglass and composite blow apart where it would burn aluminum. So that's why we don't see any burn marks there. All right. uh, and, and the nose cone is, is kind of hollow. Uh, I'm, you know, they, maybe they did hear. You know, I feel that if they heard something, they would have diverted. They just. Might and not they didn't. The only and other thing and there. that's uh, what they what they said this morning. Hey, is Phil, that they thanks. Didn't. We got Thank we so got a much, sponsored Phil. thing to hit right here before we go, but we'll talk to you a little bit later. Go ahead, Aaron. All right, y'all. We're also going to talk about one of the hottest topics in tech. The Apple Watch goes on sale this week. We're getting an answer to a question no one else is asking: Is it weatherproof? And this morning, good morning to you. Go ahead and drink that extra cup of coffee to get you through the morning. The Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee releases new guidelines suggesting three to five cups a day can be part of a healthy diet. Amen. And actually can reduce your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. But the diabetes, but there is a catch. You have to drink it black. Whatever. I don't know about that. That's I your weather know. wellness. Whatever. Cream or sugar? Coffee. As I weather, said, we weather wellness brought to you by CBS Health. Health is everything. We all enter this world with a shout. Robert! And we see no reason to stop. Yeah! So CVS Health is creating industry-leading programs and tools that help people stay on medicines as their doctors prescribed. It could help save tens of thousands of lives every year. And that would be something worth shouting about. Yeah! <laughs> CVS Health. Because health is everything.
currently in our area, 80 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 74. Winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Introducing New Flonase Allergy Relief Nasal Spray. This changes everything. New Flonase outperforms a leading allergy pill, so you will inhale life. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six, and six is greater than one. So roll down your windows, hug your pet, dust off some memories, make new ones. New Flonase. Six is greater than one. This changes everything. It can be hotter than Death Valley in your attic. But that's still not hot enough to sweat out bugs. Take these boxes. They're not only perfect for storing old yearbooks and pictures. You find something? They're also a perfect food source and nesting material for roaches. That's why I identify their favorite snacks, like old books, clothing, wood. Then I seal entryways and use the latest scientific methods. Orkin, pest control down to a science. Remember the hassle of vacuuming before the Dyson V6 Motorhead Cleaner gave you powerful suction and standout performance without the hassle of a cord. Water. We take our showers with it. We make our coffee with it. But we rarely tap its true potential and just let it be itself. Flowing freely into clean lakes, clear streams, and along more freshwater coastline than any other state in the country. Come realize water's true potential. Dive in to the waters of pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. Oh, man. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, oh, Harry. Man. You got to do it like this. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, George. Hey, Jim. State Farm agents are there whenever you need them. The 306 horsepower Lexus GS. Experience the next level of performance, and there's no going back. Lease the 2015 GS 350F Sport with complimentary navigation system for these terms. See your Lexus dealer. Your eyes really are unique. In fact, they depend on a unique set of nutrients. That's why there's Occuvite, to help protect your eye health. As you age, your eyes can lose vital nutrients. Occuvite helps replenish key eye nutrients. Occuvite is a vitamin made just for your eyes from the eye care experts at Bausch & Lomb. Occuvite has a unique formula that's just not found in any leading multivitamin. Your eyes are unique. So help protect your eye health with Occuvite. 42 minutes after the hour. Glad you're with us here on AMHQ because, boy, have we had a lot of weather to get you up on in the eastern half of the country. And now we start to swing west. Hello, Denver. Looking like you've got some partly cloudy skies in the area in Denver. Here's what we, our, our plan for you is. Uh, it feels like 32. We've got a little bit of a wind chill in play here. Northeastern wind at about 8 miles per hour. Uh, and we're, we're calling it about 34 in the range in the Denver area. We're 34 to 38 degrees right now. Um, we'll go today to about 56, 54 degrees for high temperature. Friday, though, we're on, we're, we're on a ramp up. We're going Friday to 65. Saturday, we're definitely hitting the 70s and that's going to feel good, although we'll keep some clouds in. And Thursday is a gusty, windy day. Dr. Greg, on a radar tour this morning, it has to include Chicago. We've had all kinds of problems there today. We've had flight delays galore across parts of the upper Midwest. Let's go to Chicago radar right now. we got some thunderstorms moving through. No severe. That's good news, but a lot of lightning and heavy rain now moving through the west side and even on the north side of Chicago. Evanston thunderstorming right now as 
is places in southern Wisconsin. And we also, guess what, downstate here, uh, just to the southeast of Champaign, a lot of lightning, a cluster of thunderstorms moving through. Again, no severe weather with that, but a lot of rain and some flash flood warnings out for parts of eastern Illinois. Later on today, the tornado and the severe weather threat increases. We have Torcons of four. 50% chance of a tornado within 50 miles, excuse me, 40% chance of a tornado within 50 miles of a location. And I'll show you why. We've got right now a lot of mess out there, a lot of clusters of storms, not a lot of heating, not a lot of instability in the upper Midwest yet. That is going to change. Watch out for these guys to develop later on today, say early afternoon. They will be moving into a progressively more unstable air mass that will get into Chicago. I think it'll be 70 later on today. But look at all this stuff, guys, right out here. This is a cluster of nasty thunderstorms. They could be supercells. They may have severe weather with them, hail, and possibly even tornadoes. So this is going to last through the late afternoon and evening hours, even as far north as perhaps Madison and Milwaukee. Stay tuned. For that farther to the south right along that cold front we're gonna have some big storms too watch this there it is look at that cold front storms are gonna light up right along and just ahead of it those could be severe possibility of producing high winds hail and even some tornadoes and then look at this thing line out it's a nasty squall line of thunderstorms all the way from southern illinois through southern arkansas late this evening that's gonna roll on east and continue to carry severe weather where <laughs> severe weather with it that's hard to say yeah. throughout much of the night, right, Sam? <laughs> All right, especially if you're moving fast. Yeah, and right. we do, because you're, you're, you're trying to process those radars on the move as you're trying to make sentences make sense. Um, let's try to hit these numbers in the south, because a lot of people are going to go record highs today. Oh, holy cow. Atlanta, 87 yesterday. That was the hottest was temperature beautiful. so far. This yeah. yeah, nobody was complaining about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, the heat will soar today, but we're also going to be tracking, of course, the severe weather threat throughout the day. We'll be showing all the radars and really the live reports as we get them in. Samantha mm -hmm. and Bonnie are going to be following at all so doing the radar travel as well this morning as those storms stay active getting you on board for those uh, high temperatures uh, as well in the deep south and and out west or we're, we're what are we still talking about out west do we still have opportunities for showers in that direction as well um, not as much as we did earlier in the week unfortunately I wish I could say yes yeah, but, yeah. Um, we need it we yeah. need it. I know the ski resorts in Lake Tahoe are loving the recent snow they got because yes. I yeah. say we got two more weeks of ski season we got those pictures out of there <laughs> yesterday but I know you guys take a lot of time to get the West Coast awake and moving as we go through That's the morning right. hours so everything you need to know they've got it ready for you and rid of some cool video coming incredible in. so we know uh, our weather tribe you're adventurous and you like to see these videos look at this whoever came up with this next concept is an adrenaline junkie. Watch oh no. this. Oh, this is the guy in Chile. Shoot. Yes, pilot Sebastian Alvarez as he dives head first. He's going through National that flag. flag. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, so they built like this a as a target for him, and he believes in flight that he can go right through that thing, that he can steer himself so directly and completely. Isn't that that is not much more than his wingspan. So let's just say that he's about five feet off the top of the rocks, barely. That, that the width of that thing, let's be generous and say it's six or seven feet. There are two big wooden poles holding it together and it's easily, you can break through that panel, which is the Chilean flag and, and he's very proud, but I can't believe you would even try this. This happening in his home country, that rocky peak you see there is one of it's extinct volcanoes. It's been extinct for millions of years. It's called Cerro Manquehue. Can you say that? No, <laughs> but it's a good thing you're here so you can. His friends are holding the flag as he zooms right through it. Cerro Manquehue. It's, it's an incredibly no, difficult. No, I, I can't even, like, I can't even imagine it. I can't, and speeds, you know, they, oh, I, I'm truly, truly just row. floored. <laughs> Because, you know, if you're off by a couple of oh feet, you're God. kissing the rocks, and at the speed that he's going, that's not something you recover from. I don't I care what kind of I say we do this in wearing. a controlled environment, and maybe you can try on the wingsuit. No, I say we don't do that. I say we leave it to uh, Sebastian Alvarez, I yes, believe is his name. Yes, that's his name. Good My on you, sir. to you, because there's <laughs> no possible way anybody else but you is going to try that. Hey, uh, let's get to, we're going to talk Apple Watch, mm -hmm. because as it comes out, there's some questions that people have not asked, and if you're going to lay out that kind of money for this kind of technology, you're going to want to ask it, and it would come in handy, this question, if you were on the Carolina coastline this morning yeah, from Wellington all the way up. Hmm. What is that question? I wonder. Hmm. Wow, sweet new Subaru, huh, Mitch? Yep. You're selling the Mitch Mobile? Man, we had a lot of good times in this baby. What's your dad want for it? Like 150 grand. 
200 if they want that tape deck. You're not going to tell your dad about the time my hamster had babies in the back seat, are you? That's just normal wear and tear, dude. Subaru has the highest resale value of any brand, according to Kelly Blue Book. And Mitch. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. That's looking good. So, we build things to harness it. That's awesome. They hit the water. Game on. Up here in Southeast Alaska, those guys the last line up at fence. This is about how far you can push yourself. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 74. Winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Can a protein originally found in a jellyfish improve your memory? Our scientists say yes. Researchers have discovered a protein that actually supports healthier brain function. It's the breakthrough in a supplement called Prevagen. As we age, we lose proteins that support our brain. Prevagen supplements these proteins and has been clinically shown to improve memory. It's safe and effective. For support of healthier brain function, a sharper mind, and clearer thinking, try Prevagen for yourself today. What's he doing? You think I have time to run into? Golf Smith. Anything for golf. <laughs> what are you doing? Athlete's foot. Athlete's foot can be embarrassing. Lotrim and Ultra relieves the itching, burning, and cracking to cure athlete's foot and embarrassment too. Ooh. Get Ultra. Lotrim and Ultra. Oh, this audit will take days. What a headache. Actually, I don't have a headache anymore. Excedrin really does work fast. Quiet! Mom has a headache! Had a headache. But now, I don't. With two pain fighters plus a booster, Excedrin ends headaches fast. In fact, for some, relief starts in just 15 minutes. Oh, my headache's gone. Not gonna happen. Excedrin. Wow, that was fast. Habitat for Humanity of Palm Beach County is a nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing people together to build safe, decent, affordable housing to serve low income and hardworking families in our community. You can help Habitat's mission through home sponsorship, monetary donations, volunteering, or by donating sellable household items and building supplies to our restores. You can learn more at habitatpbc.org. It's time to elevate your expectations of what luxury waterfront living can be. Water Club North Palm Beach. In the heart of everything you love about the Palm Beaches. Unmatched views in every direction. Unrivaled amenities. Private club living on the water's edge. Water Club North Palm Beach, presented by Coulter. Visit our sales gallery just south of PGA Boulevard on US 1. I have been shattering records. Look at this sample. Uh, I'm getting soaked. I wasn't expecting that, were you? No, I wasn't.
52 minutes after the hour. Glad you're with us right here on the Weather Channel. And it's a day to keep us on and just kind of listen to what's going on because I know we've had some storms this morning, but they will fire up again this afternoon. And there's a real chance we've got a long line of a running storm uh, that will move through many, many states this afternoon. So, Doctor, uh, let's, uh, the good doctor, uh, let's get it uh, filled in, let get everybody filled in on the storms today. Thank you very much, Sam. Let's have a look at our Torcons. We have a 40% chance of a tornado within 50 miles of a point across parts of Illinois. Even eastern, I think Missouri, perhaps even southern Wisconsin as well. That whole area in red, watch out for severe weather, especially later on today. We have storms rolling through there now in Chicago. A lot of them, these are all elevated north of a warm front. Temperatures generally in the 40s, but there's instability aloft. And these storms are taking a hold of that and a lot of lightning. We've had a lot of delays in the airports around the area. This is going to be the theme for the next several hours at least. On the surface analysis, we got that warm front right there. It's on the move now. In the next few hours, temperatures in Davenport are going to be up probably in the 60s. Likewise, Chicago, you're up now to 51. They are creeping up. That warmer and more unstable air is moving northward and will get into that region. Looking out to the west across parts of Iowa, Mason City, Des Moines, we got some thunderstorms. Those are lining up roughly along a cold front, and I think they will pick up in intensity later on this morning and in the afternoon hours. And here's why I'm looking at the enhanced satellite pictures. I see a very potent upper level circulation right in here. It's a powerful upper level vortex. It is snowing out in parts of western Nebraska. Strong dynamics and strong wind flow aloft will be overspreading parts of the upper Midwest. And that is going to lead us to I think the eruption of big time thunderstorms. Look at these fast wind vectors right in here. They're flowing in that way, bringing in uh, strong southwesterlies aloft. And guess what? The most unstable air right now is across parts of the southern plains. Capes in excess of 2,000 joules per kilogram. Mixed layer capes. That's just fancy talk for a lot of instability across there. And it's going that way. As that upper level low comes in, it's going to pull that north. That surface low pressure is going to be moving northward with it. And I think that northward tug or advection of uh, instability really will be working as far north as parts of southern Wisconsin. That's where the strongest wind shear will be, the dynamics. And where those two overlap, right in here, I think we got a shot at some severe weather later on today. Supercells and the possibility of tornadoes. Let's model it out. This is not so much severe stuff. I don't think out here lightning and thunder. Yes, but I think by 2:30 in the afternoon, watch out for that stuff coming in across parts of Iowa. And there we go. It moves on into, I would say, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, sat downstate Illinois. These storms could mean business. Stay tuned for all the latest because I think severe weather will be uh, pretty potent across parts of the upper Midwest. Then we've got a cold front moving through the south. We'll have severe weather along that. Can't forget about that. That's along the cold front moving across Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky as well. Sam, back to you. Yeah, I still, though, Dr. Greg, want uh, southern areas of that line to keep an eye on it as well in Texas just to watch out for those storms again because we know it, they don't have to be severe to be damaging and you're in line for storms. You know we love gear. We love tech. We are on it when it comes to tech. So the latest tech wearable tech is just a few weeks away from going on your wrist. We're talking about the Apple Watch and it releases in just a couple of weeks. So what's good about it? What's not good about it? Why is it why is it even there? Why did we design it? Let's get a Scott Scott Stein with CNET this morning. Hey Scott, let's talk a hey, little bit Harry. about this. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you and thanks for being on the show. Yeah, absolutely. It's right uh, here. Yeah, look at you. So let's talk about what you've got on your wrist right now, which makes you like the coolest kid we know. Um, you know, is it, is it, I'm not interested at all. I'm sorry to bust the bubble here, but, but yep. am I the only one who doesn't care? No, you're not the only one. There are a lot of people that I've spoken to that are very ambivalent about this, and I think it goes across ages and, and demographics, and I think people are, don't know what they would use it for. And that's the challenge here is what are you going to use it for? Yeah, and my biggest question here is, so we're laying out a lot of money for a technology watch, does have to be charged every day. Now, can I swim in this? Can I shower in this? Is it weatherproof? Can I cover a hurricane in this? Right. Well, it's IPX7, so we actually have a great explainer on CNET talking about the um, different waterproof uh, ratings or water resistant ratings, actually. This is something that you could submerge in, uh, in one meter of water for 30 minutes, still water. You could wear it in the rain. You could wear it outside in bad weather. You could even wash your hands and have it go over. Showering, iffy, probably not, definitely not swimming.
Oh, all right, sir. And of course, we will check you out on CNET for all the, the real deal on that. Scott Stein, thank you very much. And again, we're just weeks away, but he's got it on his wrist now. You know what? Until it can, like, a propeller can come out of it and I can fly <laughs> away like George Jetson. Don't talk to me because I'm not buying use. it. That's one use. All right. Uh, these are the images you guys have been sending us this I, morning. Beautiful, beautiful images of the cherry blossoms just blooming in Washington, D.C. But oh, the it's contrast. Time. Yeah. Look at what people are dealing with in Massachusetts. Can we show it? Uh, Spring a little snow. bit of snow, spring snow. Weather Channel coverage continues all day long. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 74. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Samantha Moore. And I'm Bonnie Schneider. We're not even 10 days into the month of April, but today will be potentially another dangerous day of severe storms. That's right. You know, more than 94 million people are now on alert. 15 states are in the threat area today, and that includes the potential for tornadoes. And we're going to break down the timing you need to know as we head through the afternoon and into the night. Absolutely. And yesterday was a very active day. We have a look at some of the damage from the widespread area of yesterday's storms and we will break down exactly what caused the destruction. Well, we have to get ready for another round, and we focus in on the cities like Chicago, who could see another dose of severe weather after storms rolled through earlier in the week. So brace yourselves. Absolutely. We're looking at not just Chicago, but other large cities facing a pretty substantial TORCON threat for today. Number four, so, uh, you know, that means a 40% chance within a 50-mile radius, Chicago, St. Louis, and Indianapolis. Samantha? Okay, so let's talk about some of the timing here as we head in through your day, and look at that radar right now in Des Plaines in through Chicago. Bonnie, take a look at these cells that are moving through right now, some heavy downpours. For sure, and we're seeing it work its way across Lake Michigan, some very heavy downpours just north of Chicago, and this is just the beginning. As we travel further to the south, you can see we have a flash flood warning as well into central Illinois. These are strong storms producing heavy downpours. And yesterday we saw a lot of ponding on the roadways for people that are driving. I'm sure you'll see more of that today. We're also checking out some more strong storms in two areas uh, further off to the west. You can see some downpours working their way to Rochester and Austin. And uh, it's just south of Minneapolis. So Minnesota getting hit as well with very heavy weather at this point. And a lot of these storms contain lightning as well and um, strong hail. Samantha? Yeah, well, this is a, a huge area, a huge swath, some over 94 million people on alert here. Where you see the yellow line, that's where you could have the chance of thunderstorms. Where you see the red line, everyone within that red polygon here has a chance to see severe today from the Arklatex on up through Missouri, stretching into the Great Lakes. So let's talk about the timing as we head through this afternoon and through tonight here. So let's go ahead. We may need to have uh, Brianna uh, advance my maps if you can because for some reason the clicker isn't quite working here. Thank you so much, Brianna. Uh, we're going to take you into St. Louis here. We're up I-55 uh, along 64, I-70. Be on the lookout today from 7 until 8 p.m. tonight. So already this morning we've been dealing with the thunderstorms here and then moving on up into Chicago from 9 to 7. So that evening commute, that afternoon uh, ball practices, things like this, you're going to have to be on high alert. Uh, isolated tornadoes, the damaging wind gust, a torcon of four. Large hail is going to be a threat in this area again as well. So we'll be on the lookout for that clear throughout the afternoon and evening commute. And over to you guys for some expert analysis from Dr. Postel. 
Yes, Dr. Postel is talking about the afternoon and evening threat for tonight. I know we were talking about this yesterday, but now it's a brand new area that we're watching. It is. I mean, we have Torcons out uh, for parts of the upper Midwest and maybe places that haven't seen a lot of severe weather this year. There, Torcon of four for central Illinois, perhaps even northern Illinois as well. 40% chance of a tornado within 50 miles of a point. It comes down in southern Wisconsin there. A uh, little cooler up there, a little bit more stable, but we keep those four Torcons all the way into parts of Arkansas. So it's going to get pretty active right now really on the map. We don't have any severe thunderstorm warnings, but I think that's going to change. And we can kind of see evidence of a very powerful circulation out here, Bonnie, near Nebraska that that is going to power, I think, our severe weather later today as it moves in that direction. In the same direction where we're having the storms right now, do you think the ones that are coming later may contain a uh, larger hail than what we've seen so far? I think so. I think the cold pocket aloft, which is actually this ferocious beast right out here at upper levels, that is going to be moving in and that is going to be uh, providing more instability than we've got now across this area. So we had some small hail in northern Illinois uh, and in southern Wisconsin earlier today with the elevated storms and temperatures in the 30s and 40s, believe it or not. But as that cold pocket moves here and the warm air comes in from the south, things are going to get more unstable. So this is the area that we've got to watch, I think, later on today for rapid development, I think, this afternoon of some pretty big storms as unstable air gets transported north from where it is already brewing right now across that part of the country. Would you describe this as a classic severe weather setup? It looks like hmm. uh, you know we're seeing this question. for multi days. Uh, is, I mean, it seems to, a little unusual to have so many days consecutively of severe weather. Yeah, that's a good question. I think you're right on that. Uh, some of the things that have sort of maybe popped into my mind over the last couple days is, is how much thunderstorms we've had early in the day. A lot of times when you have your classic severe weather events, a lot of times the storms don't pop until much later in the evening and they're, they take advantage of air that has gotten very unstable during the afternoon hours. Yesterday and what's happening today with thunderstorms everywhere, we had a lot of convection and cloud cover in the areas that uh, we'll see thunderstorms later. So maybe that's a, a good news, a sign that maybe it won't be as severe. But we have to watch out still because that unstable air is, I think, going to get into southern Wisconsin and Chicago. Well, you'll probably be 70 later on today. The highest energy, can you explain a little bit about what that means when you're comparing it to the area that overlaps with the strongest wind shear? That's a good point. And what we've got here is the uh, what's called CAPE, which is Convective Available Potential Energy. That's the yellow shades. That is instability that is going to help the thunderstorms grow really tall and last a while. And we've got here in the purple shades the strong wind shear. That helps the storms last a while as well and also gives them a pretty good ability to rotate. And so we'll have, I think, supercells with a lot of that instability and strong shear. And some of those supercells could produce tornadoes in especially the areas that overlap where all the ingredients are kind of coming together in that zone, which does go pretty far south into even parts of Arkansas. So let's split up those two regions, Bonnie, and let's look at the north region first. So, so as we time it out, th is this equating to what you thought it would be in terms of the forecast? It looks pretty good, and notice a lot of these thunderstorms out ahead of it. Those, I'm not sure how severe they will be. I think the strongest stuff will be back out in here waiting for the arrival of the upper level energy and that's going to power through the upper Midwest. But then farther to the south, Bonnie, we've got a cold front out here that during the afternoon hours is going to ignite thunderstorm activity right here in northern Arkansas. These could be severe and possibly tornadic as well and turning into a squall line probably by the early nighttime wow. hours. Dr. Postel, there's so much to talk yeah. about. I'm glad that you're here with us as to give us that expertise. Uh, Samantha, I know that we're also talking about hail with this storm and um, that could be a problem if you're driving. Oh, absolutely. You know, large hail and car windows never mix. Missouri took a hit late last night and you can see what happened. We're expecting more storms and more large hail like this today. Windows just bashed out. Lowe's presents how to get inside someone's head. I love the wicker. I'd prefer the wood finish. Green feels right. Has to be blue. Two seats is perfect. Three seats would be better. Those cushions really match your dress. So, the other one then? Let's get this one. What are you thinking? Nothing. Now get 15% off all Charbroil True Infrared Gas Grills at Lowe's, where your style comes together. Shop Lowe's for all your spring gardening needs. Plants, tools, and the knowledgeable people who can help you spring into spring. Johnny, even after careers like ours, we're still going strong. What's your secret, Richard? Blue Emu. It's got an active ingredient to relieve my muscle aches and joint pains. Blue Emu. It works fast. And you won't stink.
Don't let it. Advil PM gives you the healing sleep you need, helping you fall asleep and stay asleep so your body can heal as you rest. Advil PM, for a healing night's sleep. Thanks for this Oreo caramel shake, Kara. Caramel for Kara, that yeah. makes sense. And uh, Janine for peanut butter. I don't get it, why? Because she reminds me of my ex-girlfriend, Janine, who was nuts. <laughs> 25 real ice cream shakes, all half price after 8 p.m. This is how you Sonic. We are still in the eye, and we're still trying to get to the same place. She is in labor right now. We know more about this system hour by hour. This is our Pineapple Express pumping in that rainfall. We are talking about a doozy of a storm. Currently in our area, 79 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 74. Winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Sundays. One man's trash. Did the worst. Is another man's totally awesome beer can space eater. Hi. Brainstormers. Sundays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Carpools, conferences, microwave dinners. They blur one into the next. We lose ourselves in the fog of everyday life and drift away from what matters. But like a beacon in the night, it finds us. The light of more than 100 lighthouses burning through that fog and beckoning us back to what's real and true. This light shines for us all. This light is Pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. Run away here with me. This award season, the red carpet has shades of green. The spotlight shines all day. And the Jeep Grand Cherokee lets you go where others can't. So you end up with the best seats in the house. The 2015 Jeep Award Season event. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. We're never having kids. <laughs> I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Remember the hassle of vacuuming. Before the Dyson V6 Motorhead Cleaner gave you powerful suction and standout performance without the hustle of a cord. The rain is coming down and we've already had reports of severe weather. In fact, there's a flash flood warning in Vermilion County. Now this will work its way through the area and it goes until 12 o'clock central time. Very heavy rain working through Indiana. Look at Indianapolis getting hit hard. And then north of Chicago, across Lake Michigan, you can see those storms rumbling on through to Michigan. And there's more to come. If you look back towards the west, you'll see it in Aurora. So heavy downpours, frequent lightning strikes, and yes, hail all associated with these storms. Just as to the many Minneapolis is south, uh, plenty of rain coming down, working its way across the state border to Wisconsin. Well, you know, and this morning it was really coming down in Potosi, Missouri. That's a small town about 70 miles southwest of St. Louis. They're assessing the damage from yesterday's storms and possible tornado there. The area was hit hard, leaving behind downed trees, roofs blown off, and collapsed power lines. The area may not have much time to recover as the potential for more storms continue today. 
Yeah, we're looking at the sheer power and potential for tornadoes coming out of these storms. And this video was shot in Kansas near Etna. You're looking at a funnel cloud out over an open field. Thank goodness it was out over an open field in Barber County. That's right. The tornado warning was in effect for this region until about 645 last night. There were also reports of baseball size hail. This system moved to the northeast across Barber at about 35 miles per hour. Lots of power there, and uh, we wanted to talk about where the tornadoes were. And so here's a, a map of Oklahoma and Kansas. So you can see Wichita there. We had a tornado report of Bonnie and Kingman, and that was one of those rope tornadoes, mm. often called an elephant trunk tornado. And that was also confirmed by some Twitter pictures here in Kingman. Yeah, it's really incredible to have people on the scene to get those photos because that's one of the ways that the National Weather Service, when they do their surveying, determine whether it was a tornado or not. They they talk to witnesses, and sometimes those witnesses come from social media. Yeah, and that can give us some important information. Mm -hmm. And in Goddard, we also had a rope tornado along with a cone funnel. So we're using all of these terms like elephant trunk and yeah. rope tornado. So where is that in the lifespan of a tornado? So Bonnie and I are gonna break this down in the stages of a tornado. And the very first thing is when you start to see that funnel cloud kind of coming out of the base of the cloud, Bonnie. That's so true. And often people see a funnel cloud and they say it's a tornado. It's not a tornado until it hits the ground, but this is the beginning of how it all starts rotating condensation uh, funnel aloft and the wind circulation not quite reaching the ground yet or even hitting any object and then once you see that funnel cloud reach down you start to see some debris being stirred up that's when it is uh, defined as a tornado and of course that's the rotation uh, all the way down to the surface and that's when it becomes official it's not officially a tornado when it's a funnel cloud it has to actually reach the ground that's right and we were using those visual terms uh, to describe the types of tornadoes so now we want to kind of explain what we mean a stovepipe would be a large mature tornado that is uniform in width from the base of the cloud to the ground so if you can see in that this animation it kind of really illustrates well uh, the width of the tornado and what that one particularly looks like and then as it continues to widen and becomes wider than it is long, that's when it is termed a wedge, a wedge-shaped tornado. And boy, that's when it, it could huge, be, becomes massive and really can affect a lot of people. And a rope looks just like you'd imagine. It looks like a rope, so that's why it's called that, a narrow, stretched-out tornado that is often seen as the tornado is dissipating. So that's the positive side of it, is the tornado's dissipating. Yeah, so a tail end or tail cloud, that's mm -hmm. what we like to see. That means it is starting to wind itself up. Oh, great. All right. Well, we're going to have another dangerous day ahead in weather. St. Louis, look out. You're going to be under the gun today. Those thunderstorms moving in along with strong, gusty winds. Look out for hail as well. And those storms will fire up straight through the night. Stay with us here on the Weather Channel. We'll bring you up to date on all the storms. You could sit at your computer and read all about zero-turn mowers. Click. Scroll, tweet, or you could just sit on a John Deere Z435 Easy Track and feel its power. You'll know it'll get the job done fast. When it's time to pick a mower, you've got to get on one. Visit your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today. Sign up to take your turn on a Z435 and save $100 on your purchase. You can't predict the market. But at TVRO Price, we've helped guide our clients through good times and bad. Our experienced investment professionals are one reason over 85% of our mutual funds beat their 10-year LIBOR averages. So in a variety of markets, we can help you feel confident. Request a prospectus or summary prospectus with investment information, risks, fees, and expenses to read and consider carefully before investing. Call us or your advisor. TVRO Price. Invest with confidence. I've never cooked Thai food in my life, and now I'm cooking it for 20 people. The cooking club was one of the first things we tried when we moved to Dow Webb, and now it's our turn to have everyone over. I'm finding that a kitchen and a house like this encourage you to try new things. In fact, in my new home with my new friends, I'm becoming quite comfortable stepping out of my comfort zone. Find the community that's right for you at DellWeb.com. While you're at it, schedule a visit for a day or more and meet the people who live there. My husband said you're beautiful and I love you, but I'm worried about your health and your weight. I'm worried we're going to lose you. That was my moment. When your moment comes, you can count, track, and worry over every meal. Or you can lose weight simply 
with Jenny Craig. Just walk in or call. Meet your own personal consultant who will help turn your moment into the best summer ever. Pick from our all-new spring menu and start losing now. Don't wait. Join free plus $50 in food savings. A moment can change your whole life with Jenny Craig. We are still in the eye. We're still trying to get in a safe place. She is in labor right now. We know more about this system hour by hour. This is our Pineapple Express pumping in that rainfall. We are talking about a doozy of a storm. The FDA issued a public notice to doctors and patients concerning serious injuries caused by transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, and bladder sling. Please call now if you had one of these devices implanted in the last five years. You may be entitled to a cash award. If you had a transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, or bladder sling in the last five years, please call 1-855-305-2053 now. Homeowner Protection Services can help save your home. We specialize in foreclosure assistance, and that's all we do. If you're behind on your mortgage payments, being threatened with foreclosure, have been denied a loan modification, or been the victim of a predatory loan, it's critical that you call Homeowner Protection Services now. Homeowner Protection Services has a network of attorneys, and our agents are available to speak to you now. New laws are in effect that may save your home. So call Homeowner Protection Services now. Right on top of us, and then hit. And you took it to the edge. Didn't give up. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 74. Winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Indianapolis getting hit hard with storms at this hour. Plenty of rain and even flash flooding. Flash flood warning is in effect for Vermilion counties, including Danville, Newell, and Oakwood. This goes until noon today, and the storms are working their way through the city. And uh, Samantha, even into Chicago as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Moving their way from the southwest to the northeast, just north of Aurora here, stretching up towards Des Plaines. Some very heavy downpours associated with these thunderstorms. And we'll be looking for more to work their way through later on in the afternoon for sure. Mm -hmm. And here, stretching from Austin up into Rochester and Winona as well, Bonnie. Absolutely. Rochester, some really big downpours working their way through your region at this time. And this is crossing the border into Wisconsin. So if you're driving in Wisconsin, right where you see these storms, please give yourself extra time or maybe just delay your trip because um, these are really causing a lot of flooding. We've seen some reports of that yesterday too. Yeah, and yesterday the hail reports were really something. That oh, was yeah. the big news maker, and we could likely see more large hail today. For sure. The, the storm threat, as we look what we can expect for today, it's a little different than yesterday. So for today, some big cities, Chicago all the way down through Dallas, this is the area we're anticipating severe weather. But notice, Samantha, the thunderstorm goes all the way to the East Coast. It sure does, and that threat for thunderstorms, just because you're not in the red zone, doesn't mean you can't have some damaging winds, some large hail, and some very heavy downpours as well. Oh, for sure. Well, large hail has has been pummeling, as, as Samantha mentioned, many parts of Missouri. That is the sound of baseball-sized hail falling in Farmington yesterday. You can see some of them breaking apart as they slam into the street. More than two-inch hailstones. They were so strong, they even shattered car windows here. Wow. This sucks. I don't have uh, full coverage insurance, so I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. That'll hurt. 
Boy, look at the size of those hailstones just slamming into the pavement. And then watch as it strikes the cars. They're, oh, striking your back window. That is just heartbreaking, completely shattering it. And the hailstorm broke several other car windows, even punched holes in the roof of a restaurant. Imagine that coming through and landing in your cup, cup of joe. Yeah, and the hail has to be pretty large, right, to cause that kind of damage. And that's exactly yeah. um, what we've seen. You know, as we're looking at the threat for today, we're also talking about the threat for hail. And that's something that we're seeing um, throughout much of the day today as well. The Torcon certainly showing us that the risk is as far south as Arkansas and Missouri. Now, in St. Louis, we had reports of hail, but when you're looking at the size, it's kind of interesting, Sam, to compare it to a golf ball or a baseball. And what you see here in Rich Fountain, that's baseball size hail. Yeah, baseball size hail. And it, it, when you see inches like this, like an 1.8 inches in Bonterre, you're like, what is that? But if you compare it to an animate object, you'll know that that's about as big as a, a golf ball. Absolutely. And the golf ball size hail, what does that mean? Well, we talk about the updraft, meaning the winds that bring that hail up. And um, looking at that, you can see for golf ball size hail that we saw yesterday, 64 mile per hour winds. It it would take even stronger winds, Sam, to move a softball size hailstone. Absolutely. That would take 103 mile per hour updraft. Incredible. I, I actually, the teacup is my favorite. I wouldn't want to get hit by that. I wouldn't want my car to get hit by it. But an updraft of 85 miles per hour, that is a whole lot of power. That is a whole lot of air being forced upward, taking that moisture upward, taking those little balls of ice further up into the thunderstorm and coating it with layers of ice as it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, this graphic really illustrates it for you. Well, we want to talk about the storms for today, and Cincinnati is one of the areas that will be impacted by severe weather. Yeah, it'll be under the gun today, so heads up here during the afternoon, right about the time you're getting those kids out of school. Hit or miss thunderstorms, some with heavy downpours of gusty winds, and large hail is still a possibility here as well through the evening hours. I always dreamed of coming here. When my asthma symptoms returned, my doctor prescribed Dulera to help prevent them. Dulera is for patients 12 and older whose asthma is not well controlled on a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Dulera will not replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. A six-month clinical study has shown Dulera helps significantly improve lung function. Dulera contains formoterol, which increases the risk of death from asthma problems and may increase the risk of hospitalization in children and adolescents. Dulera is not for people whose asthma is well controlled with a long-term asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Once your asthma is well controlled, your doctor will decide if you can stop Dulera and prescribe a different asthma control medicine, like an inhaled corticosteroid. Do not take Dulera more than prescribed. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. Ask your doctor about Dulera. Some things are not what they appear to be. Other things are exactly what they appear to be. The 306 horsepower Lexus IS 350, as aggressive as it looks. Oh, I love game night. Oh, it's a house and a car. So far, you're horrible at this, Flo. Yeah, no talent for drawing, Flo. House, car, oh, raise the roof. No one? Remember when we used to raise the roof, Diane? Oh, quiet, Richard. I'm trying to make sense of Flo's terrible drawing. I'll draw the pants off that thing. Oh, oh, hats on hamburgers. Dancing. Drive-in movie theater. Home and auto. Um, Square. Uh, lamp. Lines. Stupid, dumb. No! Home and auto bundle from Progressive. Saves you money. Yay, game night. So much fun. When Ted's battery light lit up, his morning went from bad to worse. But after a pit stop at AutoZone, where they checked that for free, Ted was back to peak performance. It's called The Zone, and we'll help get you there. Get in the zone. AutoZone. The garden is the story of our lives. Told and retold. It's as old as our time on Earth. And as new as tomorrow. You can have a yard. But slightly less. Gardening isn't about where we choose to live. It's about how we choose to live. miracle Grow. Life starts here. We're here today asking kids what their favorite vegetable is. Kids? Now we're going to give those same kids Bush's baked beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, we're going to tell them that Bush's baked beans are actually a veg. Oh, right. Bush's secret family recipe gives them a delicious flavor, so they're a vegetable that kids actually like. Bush's baked beans, the vegetable that kids love. We are still in the eye, and we're still trying to get to the same place. She is in labor right now. We know more about this system hour by hour. This is our Pineapple Express pumping in that rainfall. We are talking about a doozy of a storm. Currently in our area, 80 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 74. Winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Didn't give up. You know, it's unpredictable. It's going to be a tornado tonight. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be windy. You never know what's going on out here, so. To me, as if I see some rotation in that far. Oh, 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 yeah. I think we do have at least a brief tornado. Wow, a lot of severe weather this week. We want to thank you for staying with us here on Weather Center Live. We are here to keep you safe. I'm Samantha Moore. And I'm Bonnie Schneider. Today we have more storms we're keeping an eye on. In fact, many of them have pretty high TORCON alert numbers to show the percentage of what we can see in terms of the likelihood of a tornado developing. Chicago, St. Louis, Indianapolis, all looking at a 40% chance within 50 mile radius. Yeah, we have the uh, TORCON of four here in Chicago, four in St. Louis, so uh, also in Indianapolis a four and that means a 40% chance within a 50 mile radius that you could see a tornado between these hours and uh, we're very concerned about the timing of these storms so we're going to go ahead and take a look at how it is going to time out for you as we head into the next few hours here and this of course when you take a look at, at this area it is expansive all the way from the Arklatex into the Great Lakes the yellow line here anything within that could some very strong destructive thunderstorms but inside the red zone if you're in the red zone here from uh, Shreveport the Arklatex stretching on up into the Chicagoland area and over into Detroit Indianapolis you are going to be under the guns so we're going to zoom in here take you a little closer in St. Louis where we have a Torcon of four so 40% chance that we could see a tornado within a 50 mile radius as well as isolated tornadoes damaging winds and very large destructive hail like we saw yesterday with those numerous reports of large hail into Chicago we go watch that drive on 80, especially during the afternoon hours here. Uh, we're concerned of one, two, three, four o'clock. We could have that threat for some supercell thunderstorms that could spawn tornadoes. We could see some damaging winds and once again, that incredibly destructive hail. Now we're going to go over to Bonnie and Dr. Postel for a uh, more complete analysis. That's right, Sam. Now the threat for this afternoon and tonight is in a different location than where it was yesterday. And I'm joined now by Dr. Greg Postel. Where are we looking at in terms of the threat for today and tonight? Well, really, you're, you made a good point. It extends into up the upper Midwest, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin. Let's look at the map where our Torcons are out for four. 40% 40 chance of a tornado within 50 miles of location in Illinois and in Indiana. That goes all the way up to Chicago. 
but it's not just there. It's even southern Wisconsin. Three it goes a little bit less as you go up to the uh, areas farther north with more stability there, less instability. But this radi you know, this uh, area extends pretty far south into Texas as well. So we've got a pretty wide swath there of uh, a tornado risk today. Let's look at where we think now some of this energy is coming from. Look at this right in there. See oh, that guy? Right? Yes, I do. This is an upper level circulation right out here that is over the plains. And that is going to be bringing with it some strong winds aloft over an area that is right now getting more and more unstable across parts of Missouri and even southern Iowa. So as we combine this unstable air moving northward, it's going to keep going in that direction. It's going to get into Iowa. You can actually see some of that being released right now now across parts of Missouri. We've got look, this little line of thunderstorms right in here. Yeah, look at that. And the actual cold front is right back here still. So this is out in some pretty warm and progressively unstable air. Oh, by the way, look at that little thing. See that little thing swiping by? There's a little swirly in there. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, that probably won't produce any thunderstorms along the way, but it's kind of an interesting feature. It may clear out the clouds behind it, leading to perhaps yeah, some more instability. That's what I was going to ask you. The area you were pointing to earlier, there was clouds and storms over it, but they're going to move away and then the sun comes out and that just makes it works for later. Yeah, exactly right. The sun comes out and makes things uh, more unstable and the flow, that southwesterly wind at many levels of the atmosphere is going to bring that instability up into that region, which is why the risk for storms does include places as far north as Wisconsin. That is, I mean, I know every state in the country has seen or reported a tornado, but is it rare to get this far north in Wisconsin? And we're talking about, you know, the upper Midwest, a tornado in April. Not really, because uh, this time of year we start to see uh, sort of that juxtaposition of instability and wind shear, which is what we put on this map, mm -hmm. where we have the strongest winds aloft, shaded in purple. Those areas will tend to support thunderstorms that last a long time and perhaps rotate. So. When you overlap the instability with that wind shear in Illinois, parts of Missouri, southern Wisconsin, I think that's the area that has the most ingredients in place for big storms later on this afternoon. And notice that they go into the Chicago area, yes. perhaps in the evening hours. Those storms could be supercellular and uh, last a while, produce hail and maybe even a tornado or two. Thank you so much, Dr. Postel. There is so much to talk about yeah. today with all this, uh, the unstable atmosphere and what we're looking at in terms of the tornado threat. And one of the places that was hard hit, Sam has details on that. Absolutely. One of the hardest hit areas during yesterday's storm was Potosi, Missouri. Down trees, the roofs were blown off, debris was everywhere. KSDK's Elizabeth Matthews is there checking on the aftermath. The water would just not stop Wednesday afternoon. Just a little rush to get things out of here before more comes. Downtown Potosi business owners were scrambling between storms. This is the absolute worst time for this to happen uh, with a deadline coming up next week. Inside his accounting office, Shelton Marlar says water stands three inches deep as friends and family help salvage everything from computers to paper files. You could hear noise up, up top and uh, my ears was popping all the way back, so there was a pressure change. Just next door, a dance studio sits quietly, except for the falling rain. And across High Street, the Samaritan House thrift store, sponsored by a local church, already replacing a busted out window. It'll be a little bit cleaning up, but we'll get through it. But it wasn't just downtown that got hit. The Washington County Fairgrounds, just on the edge of Potosi, were hammered. So we got quite a mess. The storm destroyed concession stands, ripped the roof off of a stage that landed tangled up in the woods across the street, and all around the property, power lines dangle to the ground. We'll have lots of work to do to, to get it ready to go again in, in our fair in August. And that's the thing, it, you know, it, a tornado obviously is going to cause damage, but you don't have to have a tornado to get wind damage. Bonnie. No, not at all. You could have powerful winds um, from a microburst, just a downburst of winds or straight line winds coming through. And unfortunately, the storms that we're looking at today and even tomorrow, we could see all of that. Yeah, we have the potential to see some strong winds like 45 to 57 mile per hour winds. And when you start to get winds that strong, you start to see the trees bend, small limbs can break off and you can see some cosmetic damage to homes. I think this information is really valuable for property owners of, you know, when we're forecasting what the winds are to maybe clear out some debris that could uh, hit your home.
that are just below, uh, you know, 74 miles per hour from 58, this is stronger. So we get larger limbs breaking, shallow rooted trees can be pushed over, and even semi trucks can be overturned by yeah, the power of the wind. Exactly. And if you have loose furniture out in your yard, trash cans, that kind of thing, it could be turned into a, can be a propelled device that could hit your house and cause even more damage. So it's good to secure these things. Winds that are even stronger than that, 75 to 90. This is when we're looking at widespread tree damage. We see lots of trees down. We also see the roofs damage to home. We saw that from some of the damage video we just showed. And weak structures sustain may, may sustain a significant damage. So it depends on a barn, for example. That's a weak structure. And this animation shows the shingles coming off. And, you know, that's when we can see damage. So you don't have to have a tornado to get significant damage to your house and home, unfortunately. Well, we're going to keep you up to date on the latest timing of the of these storms taking you into Little Rock, Arkansas, where we're going to see that threat for severe storms as the day wears on, Bonnie. And this is tricky because you have it in the morning and then again in the evening and into the overnight period. Stay with us here on the Weather Channel for more. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 74. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed, high 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. This audit will take days. What a headache. Actually, I don't have a headache anymore. Excedrin really does work fast. Quiet! Mom has a headache! Had a headache. But now, I don't. With two pain fighters plus a booster, Excedrin ends headaches fast. In fact, for some, relief starts in just 15 minutes. Oh, my headache's gone. Not gonna happen. Excedrin. Wow, that was fast. Need an oil change? Let the boys do it for you with our full service oil change and a multi point inspection for only $19.99 with coupon. And make your service appointment easily online at petboys.com. Trust the boys to get you there. Discover Can Am's wide range of industry leading vehicles during the Ready to Ride sales event. For a limited time, the Outlander Rail starts at $59.99. We'll get the versatile Commander. The powerful Outlander and the turbocharged Maverick XDS with cash rebates up to $2,000. Don't miss out. Visit your local dealer during the Ready to Ride sales event. Can Am. The ride says it all. It's this round ottoman with super cute fabric. And then she's got this gorgeous leather sofa. She says that it's from Lazy Boy? I know, she's totally lying. <laughs> Right? They only sell recliners. Well, celebrities are just so secretive, you know? It's not like... She's got me. What? How'd these get here? The bonus coupon sale. Incredible savings throughout the store. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Let's go Emerald Coasting. Visit Destin, Fort Walton Beach, Okaloosa Island, the heart of... New Flonase Allergy Relief Nasal Spray outperforms a leading allergy pill. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six. So go ahead, inhale life. New Flonase, six is greater than one. This changes everything. Hey, neighbor, fertilize your lawn to keep it healthy this season and get expert advice and great savings at your neighborhood Ace. Right now, save on select varieties of Ace Green Turf fertilizers starting at $11.99 after $2 off instant savings. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. <laughs> Tell me, oh, yeah. with a taste of nuts and honey, it's honey all alone, it's honey nuts.
This award season, the red carpet has shades of green. The spotlight shines all day. And the Jeep Grand Cherokee lets you go where others can't. So you end up with the best seats in the house. The 2015 Jeep Award Season event. Andrew, Rita, Sandy, meet Chris, Jackie, Joe, minor damage or major disaster, when you need us most, we're there, State Farm, we're a force of nature too. Flash, flash flood warning across the, uh, parts of the Midwest. Look at this. We have it for Vermilion County, Danville, Newell, and Oakwood, all facing the potential for flooding and frequent lightning storms. Look at those lightning. I mean, this is incredible that these storms, they're not that large, but the ones mm -hmm. that are coming through are really producing heavy lightning and rain. A lot of energy, a lot of electricity there. And now let's take you on up into Milwaukee, where we're also seeing some very heavy downpours here right along Interstate 94. Uh, interesting. We've just seen those move in across the lake right now. And you can also see all of that lightning here to the west, north of Janesville. And the, the rain that's moving through has actually caused some delays in Chicago at the airport there. In Rochester, we're looking at plenty of rain and thunderstorms rolling through Minnesota into uh, Winona as this time and also across Wisconsin. So you mentioned that too, like if you're driving on these highways, all of a sudden the skies open up. Yeah, and it really, you see that blinding rain and it's really hard to see. So hopefully your wipers are good working condition. And Samantha, I know you've been keeping track of the record breaking temperatures <laughs> in Atlanta. Oh yeah, look, it's beautiful day so far. I mean, people were raving about the weather yesterday afternoon. 87 was a record high yesterday. The hottest temperature so far of the year. This picture coming from Coca-Cola's world headquarters. Few high clouds moving in and a slim chance for some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and a greater chance as we head into Friday. And so the big news around here is the heat, Bonnie. It felt like July yesterday <laughs> and it wasn't just Atlanta. Montgomery also saw some incredible records, almost 90. Yeah, and we could see more records today in Atlanta, Montgomery, Columbia, expecting to tie the record with a high of 90 today. Same thing in Tampa, so very warm temperatures all across the south, courtesy of a southerly flow, bringing that warm, moist air off the Gulf of Mexico, Bonnie. Of course, that's the air that's so juicy that we have to worry about those thunderstorms developing, and it brings those temperatures well up into the 80s and low 90s. It sure does. It's almost like a, a nice little breather of summer, but it's in advance of what's to come. So the temperature is soaring with the numbers going 15, 14 degrees above normal today. But that is in advance of the powerful system that will work its way into this area on Friday. Yeah, so in Asheville, we're talking temperatures here that are going to be up around 80 degrees. Asheville's in the mountains. Usually it's a pretty <laughs> cool location. Yeah. Once the frontal system pushes in, temperatures will moderate a little bit, but still staying above the average of 66 here, Bonnie. So a touch of summer into April, and then we'll be watching for rain and more storms. Well, let's talk about some lightning because we have certainly seen a lot of it lately. An intense flash of lightning and loud booms in the Lake Bluff, Illinois area last night. Boy, it definitely scared <laughs> the person uh, that was taping this. I was going to say scared the pants off, but I didn't know what they were wearing. Uh, it would definitely scare the pants off of me as, as, uh, as those loud booming sounds and flashes of light just are really startling. Yeah, and more is expected for this area tonight. You, you know, you think, oh, a kid's afraid of thunder and lightning. I think adults are too. Uh, it means definitely that the storms are there. Parts of Kansas also getting rocked by lightning. Watch as it lights up the night sky over Sedgwick County. Well, if you look closely, you can see the lightning illuminating some pretty big funnel clouds. Isn't that terrifying? You can't see anything. And then when the sky lights up, you see what you think 
is a funnel cloud. It could turn into a tornado. There was a tornado warning in effect when this video was taken as well. There were no reports, however, of damage or injury from the storm, but that's rather nightmarish as the lightning just lights up the sky just long enough for you to glimpse right what could be the coming. image. And then you think, wait, did I see that correctly? I and see there's that? exactly. Yeah. But lightning is going to be a problem today. We've already seen it out there across the Midwest. We want to talk about a little bit more to explain it, how lightning strikes. Well, it happens. You know, you see the updraft here in the thunderstorm and ice crystals form and accumulate as those liquid drops start to freeze into ice. That's true. And, you know, as the mixture of, of liquid and hail and ice crystals come together, that's part of the process that we see to create the electric charge of lightning. Yeah, we end up seeing those uh, positive charges and those negative charges. So the ice crystals become positively charged here and uh, hail in the mid-levels becomes negatively charged. That's what you can see with the little blue crystals bouncing around here in the middle of the thunderstorm. And then the ground is positively charged. So, of course, those charges want to even out. And when it does so, we get lightning. This is a great visual to really explain why we see that flash of lightning. Even though it's brief, it's intense and strong. So it's nature's way of equalizing the energy here. We'll be back with the latest on the timing of the storms coming up. It may seem strange, but people really can love their laxative, especially when it's Miralax. It hydrates, eases, and softens to unblock your system naturally, so you have peace of mind from start to finish. Love your laxative, Miralax. As the host of a popular home improvement show, I know a lot about finding a great contractor for home repairs and improvement projects. Now there's HomeAdvisor.com, a free service that matches your project to top local service professionals. We didn't have to do any work other than say what we needed. Just one, two, three, I found my guy and everything was smooth. And it's always free to use. We've had nothing but fabulous every single time. Go to HomeAdvisor.com now to get started on your next project. Home Advisor. You know those neighbors always making weird inventions out of junk in their garage? The Weather Channel just gave them their own TV show. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> Sunday nights. Come on, wind! I think I just made Mother Nature my bitch. Ah! One man's trash. This is perfect. Is another man's wood-powered cheap gasifier. This is incredible! Failure's not an option. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, it is. We got a problem, Houston! Brainstormers, Sunday nights at 9, only on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals, low 74. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed, high 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Even after careers like ours, we're still going strong. What's your secret, Richard? Blue Emu. Oh, I've used Blue Emu for over 10 years. I love their odor-free Blue Emu Continuous Pain Relief Spray. Me too. It's got an active ingredient to relieve my muscle aches and joint pains. And soothing emu oil for those hard-to-reach places. I knew you was a winner. I'm glad we had this talk. Blue Emu. It works fast. And you won't stink. Hey, I heard you guys can help me with frog protection. Sure, we help with fraud protection. If there are unauthorized purchases on your Discover card, you're never held responsible. You are saying frog protection. Fraud. Frog. Fraud. I think we're on the same page. At Discover, we treat you like you'd treat you. Fraud protection. Get it at discover.com. So nice, so nice. Sweet, sweet scent of my snice. So nice, so nice. Send cry full of pure vibes. So so nice, send you a real paradise. So nice, so proud to be from the Virgin Islands and the whole place nice. To 
Experience your Virgin Islands nice. Book one of our packages today. Are you missing out on life because you're putting off neck or back surgery? Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery, to learn how a less than one inch incision can have you up and walking within a few hours of surgery, free from chronic back pain and with no hospital stay and no lengthy recovery. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, bulging or herniated disc, sciatica or other chronic conditions, call today for your MRI review. There were times my boss would send me home because I was in excruciating pain. Going to Laser Spine Institute, I go in, I have the procedure, and walk out, a changed person, good to go back to work. I can't tell you how much happier I am. It's changed my life completely. If you've been told you might need neck or back surgery, call 1-855-450-BACK for your MRI review. Laser Spine Institute, a less than one inch incision, a lifetime of stand. You totaled your brand new car. Nobody's hurt, but there will still be pain. It comes when your insurance company says they'll only pay three quarters of what it takes to replace it. What are you supposed to do, drive three quarters of a car? Now, if you had Liberty Mutual new car replacement, you'd get your whole car back. I guess they don't want you driving around on three wheels. Smart. New car replacement is just one of the features that comes standard with a base Liberty Mutual policy. And for drivers with accident forgiveness, rates won't go up due to your first accident. Learn more by calling 1-888-380-5644. Switch to Liberty Mutual and you could save up to $423. For a free quote today, call Liberty Mutual Insurance at 1-888-380-5644. See car insurance in a whole new light. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Beaches. Sundays. One man's trash. This is perfect. Is another man's wood-powered Jeep gasifier. Whoa, whoa. Brainstormers. Sundays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Okay, we're tracking those storms, and they're going to be strong at times today. I think we're going to show some radar here. There's Bonnie Schneider, Dr. Mm -hmm. Greg Postel, getting ready to give you the timing as these storms unfold throughout the afternoon, especially taking you into where we have a flash flood warning. Very heavy rain along Interstate 74 in Vermilion counties. That includes Danville, Newell, and Oakwood. That is until noon here. These cells are moving to the northeast at around 35 miles per hour. And look at all of the lightning here on the northwest side of Indianapolis. It is really lighting up the sky there. So Bonnie and Dr. Postel, map out what we can expect for the hours to come. Sam, we can expect it looks like a lot more rain to some of the areas that are getting a breather now, right, Dr. Postel? It looks like more is coming through. Yeah, warmer and more unstable air is working its way northward across parts of the upper Midwest. And I think by this afternoon, we'll have some thunderstorms all the way from northern Missouri, southern Iowa, getting into northern Illinois and even southern Wisconsin. Some of these storms, especially later on this afternoon, could be severe with the possibility of a large hail, maybe even a tornado or two. I mean, these, some of these could be supercells out here. The right parameters are in place for that to happen. And then moving through perhaps the Chicago area, late this evening and even southern Wisconsin mm -hmm. and then farther to the south Bonnie, we cannot forget our friends to the south because we have a pretty potent cold front. You can see all those storms lining up along that later on this evening. Here in Atlanta and in the southeast, everyone was talking about, oh, it's so warm, record high temperature. Mm. But that's actually not so great that it's heating up, is it? It's fueling these storms. Yeah. That's a good point that will be moving through the mid-south later on this evening, probably lining out fairly quickly. That's going to be the dominant forcing is that cold front. And when that happens, a lot of times you get storms that maybe form individually early, but quickly turn into a line, which is what I think we're going to see later on this afternoon and evening. Tomorrow, that very same cold front will be here, separating moist flow here out of the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic from much drier and cooler air to the northwest. So it's that collision of air masses with strong winds in place will lead to the possibility of some severe weather along a strip like that from the northeast to the mid-Atlantic with Torcons, you know, as high as three. So keep an eye to the skies tomorrow. This severe weather moves on toward the east. Good point, Dr. Postel. Even Friday, Samantha, will be looking at the severe weather threat as far north as New York and Philadelphia. Yeah, it is just ongoing here. And you know, the intensity of tornadoes is measured by using the enhanced fajita scale, the EF scale. And we're here to make sure you know what that is and how it's calculated. Mark Elliott explains how the ratings are made. 
In order to give a tornado its EF scale rating, we don't actually measure the winds inside it. Instead, we look at the damage afterwards. For an EF0, there's not too much damage at all, maybe a couple of shingles getting blown off. By EF1, far more shingles coming off the roof, and we might start to see a piece of the roof coming down. By EF2, much bigger problems. Entire pieces of the roof can get sheared off, while the entire house could actually get shifted on the foundation. EF3 comes around, and we start to see wall problems. The walls, the exterior walls, can start to tip inward. By EF4, even those interior walls can start to collapse. That's when the small rooms that we tell you to hide in might not even save you. And by EF5, the entire house can get blown off the foundation, nothing left but a slab. Okay, here's some advice to help keep your family ready in a tornado warning. If you're in a home with a basement, you want to get down to the lowest level in the basement under some kind of sturdy protection or cover yourself with thick padding or a sleeping bag. Cover your head, cover your feet, cover all those appendages. Absolutely. Some homes, though, don't have a basement. If you're in a dorm or an apartment, you want to avoid the windows. Do not go out looking outside to see, hey, what's going on? You want to go to the lowest floor, a small center room like a bathroom or a closet. Go under a stairwell or an interior hallway with no windows. Crouch down as low as possible to the floor and cover your head with your hands. If you're in an office building, you want to go directly to an enclosed windowless area in the center of the building on the lowest floor possible. Interior stairwells are usually good places to take shelter. Stay off of those elevators. You could be trapped in them when the power is lost and if you're claustrophobic, that would be a very bad day. Weather Center Live is back at the top of the hour. Of course, we're tracking the potentially dangerous storms today. And you can watch all of our severe coverage all day and into the night right here on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 84. Winds east southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy intervals. Low 74. Winds east southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, sunshine and clouds mixed. High 87. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour.